time to continue my seussical day here at Islands of Adventure. Here in Seuss Landing. Hello everyone and welcome to a Thrill Seekers Adventure. My name is Chris. Today I'm here at Islands of Adventure in Seuss Landing. Uh, earlier today I did attempt to ride Hagrid's. Didn't get on the ride, but I did get an awesome Q Thrill Seekers Adventure, so if you want to check that out, please do. But uh, since I'm at Universal, I figure let's go check out the rest of the park, see what's going on. So I'm in Seuss Landing, I figure let's go take a spin on Cat in the Hat to kick off our day, shall we? Let's go. Here we go with the only traditional dark ride here at Universal Isles of Adventure. Cat in the Hat. journeying from the whimsical world of Dr. Seuss over to the more mechanical and adventure thrilled world themed world that is Marvel Superhero Island where I'm gonna ride the amazing adventures of Spider-Man which is easily one of the best rides Universal's ever built still here's the Hulk great coaster I haven't done it since they redid it but uh it's pretty cool so anyway, let's go on Spider-Man. I'm probably not going to take you on that one, but uh, I'm going to go ride Spider-Man and uh, see where the rest of the day takes me while I'm here at Islands of Adventure. Looks like the Marvel villains are out right now. You see Doctor Doom and the Green Goblin meeting over by the arcade. So 
The villains have taken over the island. If only there were some superheroes around to help. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, let's head over to Spider-Man and do this. Well, I just got off Spider-Man. It looks like the heroes have made it out after America's meeting with some fans. Currently walking out of Marvel Superhero Island and actually heading towards Toon Lagoon. Not an area I usually spend a lot of time in. Uh, I'm actually not going to spend much time here this time either. I'm actually going to head to Skull Island to attempt to ride Reign of Kong, depending on how long the line is. Um, now, the structure that's right in front of me right now is interesting because it was a short lived stunt show arena that really isn't used for much of anything besides like special events nowadays. Currently, it is rumored to be on the chopping block and potentially replaced with the Secret Life of Pets Dark Ride that is being built at Universal Hollywood. So we'll see if that happens or if something else comes to replace it, but this is a very large venue that is currently being used for nothing. So hopefully this will be a new expansion project coming to Isles of Adventure in the not too distant future. But right now, it's just an empty building. So we'll see what happens. I haven't been a ripped cell phone for a while. Probably won't go this time because I know the line is really long, but pretty terrific ride. Right. You're okay getting stuck. So it's definitely right worth doing if you're here at Tim Lagoon. Alright, time to go on Skull Island Rain of Kong. It takes a five minute wait, but we'll see if uh, it's actually that long. Let's go. All right, just got off Skull Island. Uh, they had the single rider line one, running, which was nice because I was able to get through it pretty quickly, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up my time here at Islands of Adventure by taking a look at some Jurassic construction as well as possibly riding the Jurassic Park River Adventure. It's been a while since I've done a river adventure, so I figure, you know what, might as well uh, take the plunge. Plus, it's a hot day. It'd probably be nice to get a little wet, so... Let's go see how long the line and uh, experience for River Adventure is. makes things. Now you see nothing behind these walls because they're doing a lot of land clearing to get ready for the brand new Jurassic World question mark themed roller coaster. It's coming probably 2020. Work's already begun so Universal's gonna start getting this thing done quickly. I'll take a look at some other spots see what else we can see. But in the meantime let's go on the old school river adventure. Jurassic Park River Adventure. Now it's going to be interesting to see with the California version being converted into Jurassic World, how much longer is our River Adventure going to be just Jurassic Park? Only time will tell. But in the meantime, let's enjoy this old school classic while it's still here. Not going to be able to film, but I will be wet afterwards and I'll show you that. So at the exit of the River Adventure, they have a whole bunch of new Jurassic World merch. This is all based around the new attraction opening in California. Um, there's a lot of it too. It's pretty cool stuff. Like that particularly, that's going to be seen at the end of the Jurassic World ride. So I'm hoping this is a sign of things to come. Maybe uh, it's just a tease that eventually Jurassic World is coming to Florida. We'll find out. But uh, in the meantime, we have this cool Jurassic World merch while waiting for the ride. Since the last time I was here, they added these cool dinosaur cutouts to the construction wall so you can pose with some of the dinosaurs, including Blue from Jurassic World, which is rumored to be the star of the new roller coaster that's opening next year, rumored. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, basically everything beyond this work wall is just level. There's nothing left over there. So... 
A lot of work has been done on the Jurassic World slash park attraction, the new Jurassic Coaster. Um, over here we have the new entrance to the Raptor Encounter. It was moved into, I believe, part of the old Jurassic Park River Adventure queue. So this is the new entrance. It's over here. Pretty cool. And it's back that way. So that's cool. And then, yeah, there's just construction walls all over the place now for Jurassic. So lots of construction going on again, even though Hagrid's is open, another coaster project is on its way. And it'll be here before you know it here at Islands Adventure. One last look at the Jurassic Park coaster location. Uh, as you can see, this is the other side of those construction walls I was pointing out, shut it from uh, Seuss Landing. And uh, there's a lot of land cleared, as well as the giant cranes. So I have a feeling this coaster is going to start construction very, very quickly. A lot of land has been cleared, a lot of space made, so it'll be exciting to see what ends up happening. But uh, work is coming, and a new coaster is going to be in its place inside Jurassic Park soon. And with that, I'm gonna call it a day from Islands of Adventure. So thank you for joining me for this Thrill Seekers Adventures. I hope you enjoyed it. Look for plenty more videos throughout the rest of the year. I'll try to get out to Universal a little bit more often. I know I don't go out here as much as I should, but uh, I'm gonna to try to. Anyway, see you in the next one, possibly at Universal Studios.